Lou, stop! What? If you go putting that paint on bare drywall, you're going to regret it for the rest of your life. Yeah, you're being a bit dramatic. Why have you stopped me? I was just about to crack on with the job. Well, I'm going to tell you. And I'm going to let you guys in on it too. Exactly what you need to put on bare drywall and why. Drywall, plasterboard, dry lining, sheetrock, wherever you are in the world, it still needs to be sealed before we put any decorative covering on it, i.e. whether that's paint or some type of wallpaper. And basically what drywall is, it's gypsum, which is a natural product, dug out the earth, um, and it's sandwiched, compressed and sandwiched um, in between facing paper. So I know if I put sealer on these walls, it's going to really protect it from all the different decorative finishes I'm going to put on top of it. For instance, if I was to put paper, wallpaper, lining paper on these walls as they are, and I come to the time where I don't like it anymore, I'm going to strip it back off. As soon as you strip that paper off, because of the glue that you've used, the wallpaper paste, it is going to take a lot of that backing paper, that facing paper rather, of the, of the actual drywall with it. And then you've got a whole host of problems. So I'm thinking forward, if you know you're the type of person that's going to be redecorating a lot in, you know, after a few years, and you don't want any problems going forward, then using a sealer to penetrate deep into the porous surface is definitely the way to go. So let's have a look at the particular product I'm going to be using today. This is what we're going to be using Zinza Guards. Let's have a look. So let's take a little look at what's in the tin. So just got a regular can opener. Just prise it all around. And when you're more or less there, you just give it a little twist and off it comes nice and easy. So first of all, you'll notice how thin this is. Uh, don't be put off by that. Uh, this is a good thing as you want it. You want it to be thin because you want it to soak into the pores of the filler that you've got on and also the facing paper of the drywall. So yeah, thin is good when it comes to a sealer. So we've given it a really good stir and we're going to really carefully pour it into our uh, tray because it is so thin and you just don't want it going absolutely everywhere. A little bit like what I've just done. Okay, so load it up, get it nice and soaked and let's uh, see what it looks like on the drywall. Okay, step one, the most important thing. You've got to make sure this is completely dust free, otherwise you're just wasting your time, full stop. So make sure you've completely dusted off the surface and there's no dust residue left. You're going to get a little bit because otherwise it's impossible, but as much, remove as much as you possibly can. Here we go. You can really see that soaking in. You can see how thin it is. It does recommend on the tin that you work from the bottom up and I can understand exactly why they're saying that. So don't press too hard, otherwise it will all come out if you do that look, because I've pressed way too hard and it's all just dripping out. So you don't want to do that because you'll be wasting it. Get it on the wall. Don't go too fast. But you can see, you see how it's soaked, completely soaked in to that wall. So basically what this is going to do, when it dries, it's going to dry to a hard film, which is really going to protect and soak into all those different porous fibers, as well as the jointing compound as well. 
and that at the end will give us a really uniform finish for our paints because if you don't do that and you're just to put emulsion straight onto that you are going to be able to see the difference in different lights because they're two different textures they're going to give you different finishes one will be slightly matte than the other so that's why it's really important to use sealer or a primer so let's remind ourselves why we're using this because it penetrates deep into the surface it's going to dry to make a moisture resistant film it's going to seal both surfaces evenly by penetrating deep and therefore your top coats aren't going to be patchy in a couple of years time you put up your fancy wallpaper and you think yeah i don't like it anymore and you take it off and you didn't seal these walls then as soon as you take it off you're going to take this paper facing off as well and that's going to lead to a whole host of other problems if you don't seal this paper facing when you go to put your top coats on there's a strong possibility you're going to get a few blisters and i don't mean in your hands i mean on the paper as in bubbles if we're going to be lining or putting wallpaper up on our walls as soon as you put your wallpaper paste on that bare dry lining it's going to take all the moisture from your paste and when you go to put your paper on the wall you're going to get bubbles and blisters and it's going to be a nightmare so it really is a great surface for putting your paste for applying wall coverings so i think you'll agree there's a whole host of problems that are going to happen if you don't put a sealer on the walls i'm putting a sealer purely because i know i'm going to be putting a wall covering on at some point if you know you're only ever going to paint it then a drywall primer is going to do a fantastic job so yeah uh, i just need to crack on Wow, exhausting painting. That is all done. Really easy to put on. One tip, it is very runny. So make sure you put plenty of dust sheets down on the floor and protect your surfaces. Anyway, Zinza guards. Why am I using Zinza card? Car cards? Guards because I love their stuff. I'm not sponsored, I've got nothing to do with them whatsoever. I just really trust and love their products. As a professional painter and decorator, now retired, thank God, it's exhausting. Um, I've been using their products for absolute years and they have some amazing things and they're absolutely brilliant. And it, the good thing about Zinza is they're really bringing it to the DIY market. So it's a lot easier for you guys to be able to go and pick it up now. It's in a lot of the uh, like DIY stores, your B&Qs, your home base and all those places. So it's really easy to get and it's not just for the trade anymore, which is a real bonus. So if you've got any value from this video at all, then please subscribe to the channel. Uh, ding the bell as well, and that will give you, uh, what do they call it? What do they call it? Who am I looking at? There's nobody else in the room. Anyway, notifications, notifications uh, when um, I upload a new video, full, packed full of useful information for the DIY, home renovator, home maintenance, whoever you are, whatever you are doing. Uh, so yes, so please, if you can, if you want to subscribe, ding the bell, give us a thumbs up, leave me a comment uh, and I'll see you soon. Take care, everyone. Bye. God, I waffle on. Anyway, time to go home, I think. Shall I go home? Yeah. Yeah, I'm hungry.